Hey guys, Tam Tech, and if you like DS, you like an Android tablet or PSP, well, this is going to be the gaming tablet for you. It's an Android gaming tablet that's already rooted and it has a bunch of emulators and games pre installed, all for about $100. This is the best value gaming tablet you're going to get. So, this tablet right here has a PSP emulator. The operating system is Android and it also has a built-in DS emulator as well. I got this for about $100, and I tell you this much, I got this Samsung Tab 3 for $150. And this thing, this tablet, smokes the Samsung Tab 3. Now at the same price as the gamepad, the 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor, eight gig storage, one gig RAM, does not compare it to the gamepad. 1.8 gigahertz quad core processor, two gig RAM, 16 gig storage. It has a built-in camera, so this is the camera right here. Not really that great resolution, but it, it, you can do Skype on it easy or Google Hangouts, no problem. It has a close to a 720p resolution display. The touch screen is not Gorilla Glass, it's actually high impact plexiglass. It has two small rubberized joysticks. It has a directional pad similar to the Sega Genesis. It has a volume down, volume up, A, B, Y, and X, R1 button, R2 button. L1 button and L2 button. So it has 12 freaking buttons on this thing, not counting the power on and off button, which is uh, right here. It also has a HDMI output, a microphone, a headphone jack, the micro SD slot, so you can store external games on this SD card. The charging port acts also as a data transfer, and the power on button is easy to use. You just hold it down to turn it off and hold it down again to turn it on. It has dual speakers, so it is stereo sound and a curved back so when you're holding it you get a little bit better grip. Kind of wish that this was rubberized right here so you get a really better grip and it doesn't slide around on the table. Uh, my kids dropped this a bunch of times and the screen never cracked. I don't even really need a case on this thing but I did wish that this border right here, this bezel, kind of wish that it was rubberized but it is, if you can see right there, it is a little bit beefier so my kids dropped this probably like 10 or 15 times even down the stairs and it hasn't you know, broke yet, thank God. So let's go ahead and uh, check it out. So let's turn it on. The battery life is pretty good. It's two hours to charge it and it lasts about six hours. Depends on your brightness settings, your volume settings, and what games you're playing, obviously. So when you first turn it on, the only thing you have to do is sign into your Google account and then you'll be able to, you know, do all your Android stuff, you know, like go on YouTube and stuff like that. So the interface right here looks a little bit different because it has actually three choices of themes. So let's go ahead and go to settings and click on home right here. We're on Metro, and Metro is my favorite setting because it gives me a nice clean layout and easy to pick the games and apps and stuff like that for me. There is Launcher 3, which, and this is Launcher 3, and this is pretty much what you normally look at on a tablet. And you hold down the screen and you can change your wallpapers and stuff like that. All right, let's go back to settings and let's show you the other interface. And this is the other interface, and, this, and there's my programs right here. Click on my Android apps. Hit the home button right here to get back. All right, so let's go back to settings right here. So this is the interface that it comes with right here. And this is probably the most user-friendly for any kid or anyone to use. And yes, this is a pre-rooted Android tablet. So you can download rooted apps since it's a rooted tablet. And it comes straight out of the box rooted. So I got this GL to SD, which allows me to transfer my games to my SD card. And then you hit play and play the game. R2 and then hit it again to swing. So this is a lot easier than using the touch screen. And it's kind of like a PS Vita because it has the dual joysticks. So it, they work really well and they're rubberized so you have a nice grip. And you spin around, look up and look down. Very nice. There is a newer version of this and it's the iPlay and it has Ultra HD display and a rubberized grip in the back right here, and it just, it's way better than this tablet, but it costs two and a half times more than this tablet. And if you use a mini HDMI adapter, you can hook it up right here in the mini HDMI port on the gamepad, and then hook it up to any old HDMI cable right here. You want to go into settings, advanced settings, and then select HDMI, and click on the HDMI resolution to 720p, 60 hertz. 
go ahead and switch the input. And there we go. And if you're worried about dropping it on its face, don't worry. Besides it having a high impact plexiglass touchscreen, the joysticks are rubberized and they take most of the force if you ever drop it on its face. See? Click on that controller icon and it pulls up this display right here. And basically it gets you to customize your on-screen controls. And you can move everything around like that. But I usually just choose clean and close. All right, when you click on settings over here and you go to gamepad, you can choose from Xbox joystick mode or PS3 joystick mode. And I'll show you some of the games that is compatible with this gamepad. So Riptide is compatible with the gamepad. Dead Trigger 1 and 2. Main arcade emulator, which is a main 4 droid, which has a ton of arcade games. NBA Jam is compatible with the gamepad. The PSP emulator is compatible with the gamepad. And I got this PSP emulator gold uh, at the Google Play Store. And I got the main 4 droid emulator at the um, Google Play Store as well. Of course, Spider-Man 2 is compatible with the gamepad. Uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted is really good on the gamepad. Minecraft works excellent on the main uh, gamepad. Grand Theft Auto Vice City and, and also the other Grand Theft Auto games work on the um, gamepad so you use the joysticks to move around. The DS emulator, Drastic, works great with the um, gamepad. Virtual Tennis and Shadow Gun. It also has a a basic version of the PSP emulator pre-installed so you don't really have to download the gold version I just like the gold version because it gives me more options so I ended up buying it because I enjoyed the emulator it also comes with the arcade emulator so you really don't have to download me as Nintendo 64 built-in this is I think maybe Dreamcast built-in and PlayStation 1 built-in after you connect the micro USB cable you swipe from the top edge right here click on USB connect and it says USB connected Click on that, and then click on turn on USB storage. And it says, if you turn on USB storage, some apps you're using will stop. Hit OK, and it connected. It looks like it's disk I. And so once you're done, you turn off USB, and then you, now you can safely disconnect. Now for if any reason this comes in a different language, what you can do is you can basically Select the last option to the right, which is settings, and then you want to select the bottom left advanced settings gear And then you want to scroll down To that letter a you see that letter a right there. That's language and input select that letter a And so the first option right here you can select that and you'll say English USA It has child lock which is very useful if you have kids and the only thing I ran across that I couldn't get on the internet when I first got it and the only thing I had to do was change the um, date and time and the region.
how do you guys like the gamepad? Amazing! It's so cool. I love it. So, it, um, if you had a choice, PSP, PS Vita, a 3DS, uh, or an Android tablet or iPad, what would you choose? This, obviously. It's a controller and tablet all in one. It's just so amazing. Devin, stop overacting. Uh, do you really like it, Devin? Yes! Yeah, that's where all of his dirty fingers been. And dirty toes and feet. Alright, enough making out with the tablet. So, I want to the tablet. Yeah, so you guys want that for Christmas? Yeah. You're going to ask Santa Claus for that for Christmas? Uh, duh! Who would not want that? <laughs> Alright, you heard it, everyone. Your kids want that for Christmas. We approved this message. So if you're looking for a gaming tablet that's already rooted and it has packed with emulators and games, this is the tablet to get. For about $100, you can't go wrong. Now there is a better version of this uh, gaming tablet and it is a lot better. It has Ultra HD display, has a better build quality, but for the price of that one, you can get two of these. If you're interested in getting this rooted Android gaming tablet, click on the link in the video description below. But if you know anyone that is interested in this gaming tablet, just click on the share button below and share it to Facebook or G+. And if this video was informative, give me a thumbs up.